So we really look at this sensor aircraft integration as an unmanned fixed wing high density airborne LIDAR system for wide area topographic mapping. From our perspective, what we wanted to understand is the sensor capabilities and the achievable vertical accuracy following those industry recognized best practices. First things that uh, we usually do in order to look at a LiDAR data set is looking at the line to line separation, seeing how well the flight lines are sitting with each other. In order to do that, one of the first things that we do is we cut the, we cut the flight lines. This gives us the ability to run any type of strip adjustment within TerraMatch. This gives us the ability to run accuracy reports, both looking at the line to line separation, as well as how the overall data set is looking uh, compared to uh, control points that were collected, as well as hard surface uh, checkpoints, as well as vegetated area checkpoints. We cut the flight lines in order to run these adjustments to see what kind of accuracies that we were getting. Uh, what we found was uh, that the error was around two centimeters. So this is how well uh, the line to line uh, separation was. So initially looking really good, we're in the centimeter accuracy range. And so after running our strip adjustments uh, with there, we were able to tighten things down to get a line to line separation of about 1.7 centimeters. So on the left is the DZ initials and on the right are the DZ finals. So looking at how the lines are sitting with each other in just a visual space. And so as you can see, initially things look fairly good overall with a few areas that uh, needed some corrections. And then after we ran our corrections, we were able to reduce these errors across the entire project. Uh, we did some ground classification and manual editing. And so within TerraScan, uh, we classified the grounds, the buildings, as well as low, medium, and high vegetation as part of our processing uh, within the group here. Usually vertically, they need to be de-biased in some way. And so that means adjusting the LiDAR point cloud to our control points. We found that a de-biasing was needed within this project. After we de-biased the data, we had a final root mean square error of, of the elevation of 1.4 centimeters. Uh, of the resulting 1.4 centimeters uh, in the root mean square error, we are easily can derive one foot DEM as well as one foot contours. We feel very confident about the accuracy and reliability of this data with that root mean square error. And then also, what's what have you found so far? What was the software that was used to uh, post-process some of this data? The pre-processing software, Wingtra has some that comes with this system that can be used for the initial pre-processing to take your raw laser information and generate a point cloud out of that. From there, we're going into uh, really a TerraScan or TerraSolid environment. We move everything into a microstation TerraSolid kind of environment where we're uh, using T-Scan and TerraMatch in order to find tie lines, uh, run any strip adjustments that we need to, as well as look at the line-to-line -line adjustments from there.